Immigrants make up more than 14% of D.C.'s population, but if you are or know someone who is undocumented, we'll have some mistakes to avoid in order to secure legal immigration status, so stay right there. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Many prominent individuals were once undocumented immigrants, including Helma Hayek, uh, Selma Hayek, I just renamed her. She's not watching, she doesn't care. Uh, Michael J. Fox and former <laughs> Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Washington, D.C. alone has over 25,000 illegal immigrants in the city. And here were some critical mistakes that can prevent individuals from achieving legal status in the U.S. as immigration attorney and author of Do You Qualify? For legal U.S. status, Andres Meher, welcome. Thank you very much. Got your name right. I, I, was, I was practicing. <laughs> I believe you, my you parents, try it's it. not yeah, easy. That's right. No, nailed it. <laughs> so before we get, you have these mistakes you want to, yeah. uh, people to avoid because you've been, you've lived around the world and you've probably made a few of them, right? I, I, I was born in Chile, so I lived twice in Chile, twice in Israel, twice in the U.S. I came to the U.S. as a child not speaking English. I went to Israel as an adult not speaking Hebrew. Uh, so if there's a mistake that an immigrant can make, I promise you my family has done it at least once. At so, least once. All right, so what's the first uh, critical mistake to so avoid? The first critical mistake to, to avoid is having too much a drink, coming home late, and having an argument with your significant other. Domestic violence. Okay. Police comes in, somebody's going to get arrested. If you're an immigrant, now you're going to be charged with a crime. The government's going to try to deport you. Okay. And the second critical mistake, very similar, it also involves drugs and alcohol. It's driving under the influence. Um, you have a couple after work. You get behind the wheel of a car. You drive home. You think you're okay. The officer pulls you over, charges you with with uh, driving under the influence. If you're convicted, the government's going to try to deport you. Mm. Well, it's like you know the thing you want to do is try not to send up any red flags That's or correct. draw extra attention right. to yourself. And we're talking you know domestic violence or a DUI. Yeah. Then okay, you're you're on the radar in a big way. Uh, the third critical mistake to avoid mm -hmm. is even easier. Uh, driving without a license. Nowadays, police okay. officer can pull the license plate and can determine is the owner of the vehicle have a proper license? Is is it insured? Is it registered? Mm -hmm. You get pulled over in some states one day in jail for driving without a license. Okay. Now you're a criminal, the government's going to try to deport you. So they right. can do that without like say you weren't swerving, you didn't do a stop sign. They can just pull your license That's plate and, and check it. So let's say that I'm driving my brother's car. It's in his name, and he, he doesn't have any kids, but let's say he didn't pay child support. He doesn't even know, but his license is already suspended. Because his license is suspended, I'm driving oh, the vehicle in his name. Officer sees that the owner is a white male, Caucasian, no, li no license, I get pulled over. So okay. not even if it's your, you driving without Correct. a license, be careful of who you're uh, surrounding yourself with and, and not making those if you, mistakes. If you don't have a license, you have to make sure that whatever vehicle, first of all, you shouldn't be driving. But if you right. are, well, there's yeah. that. That, 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 that's number one. <laughs> yeah. But look, m most of my clients have to get to work. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so they drive or they have to go to the hospital, what have you. Emergencies happen. If you don't have a license, make sure that the car that you're driving properly insured, properly registered. Otherwise, you might spend a couple days in jail. Let's f follow follow some rules. Yep. Follow the law. Okay, uh, this one, next one says 21 Savage Stupidity. Okay, so <laughs> this is... Funny explanation <laughs> on that one. <laughs> I was like, am I reading this right? Well, 21 Savage mm -hmm. filed for legal status. So he was born in London. Right. Grew up okay. almost his entire life here in the U.S. Um, he got detained by ICE, and it cost him over $100,000 to get out. Most immigrants don't have right. those resources. No. But he only filed for legal status after he was detained. He qualified for something for a long time. But okay. like many kids who came here and grew up, they consider themselves American, even if they're not. Um, and all of a sudden, something stupid happens. It might not even be them. It might, might just be who they are with. They're charged with a crime. ICE picks them up, and now they need legal representation. So the fourth critical mistake is waiting until you're in custody to find out what are my options. Okay. Well, and I think, too, the thing with 21 Savage, when that happens, he was in, he's in Atlanta. Correct. Right? And so, but what we hear about on the news a lot is the Mexican border. Correct. Right. He's from London. But you've got people that are from, obviously, everywhere, all over the world. All mm -hmm. we hear about is south of the border. Correct. But there are people here from all over the world, and if they wait, they're in trouble there's, just as much as anybody else. There's over 11 million undocumented immigrants. About 40% of them, as mm -hmm. did my family, entered legally. You know, we came in, they gave, they gave us six months, we stayed 30 years. You know, 
A little bit longer, works, right? a little overstay. <laughs> you know, but as President Reagan, they gave us the opportunity, right. my family, right. to achieve legal status, and that's the last time there was actually was any amnesty, was in 1986 under President Reagan. All right, so the last mistake that we want to avoid. So the last mistake, not very well known, um, if you are a parent and you're undocumented and you have a child with severe medical condition, could be autism, could be cancer, could be leukemia, what have you, I, in that scenario, I would be entitled to a green card uh, to get to become a lawful permanent resident because if I get deported, my child who is an American citizen and who, who gets treatment here in the U.S. will lose that because my child would like to go with me. So to help my child who's a U.S. citizen, uh, I will be allowed to stay here legally and achieve uh, my green card. Not very awesome well known at all. Yeah. yeah, but thank you really for cool clearing stuff. a lot of this up and such great information um, and very um, helpful to remember. Andres, thank you so very much. We appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thank yeah. you for having me. We'll be back with more right after this.